Dave from Ann Arbor, Michigan writes to me, Paul, my name is Dave from Michigan and I love your channel. You've addressed this issue before, but I'm a little confused about amplifier power. I plan on using two 8 ohm speakers wired in parallel on each channel. Okay. I recall you saying that each 8 ohm speaker would now receive a 4 ohm load that my and my amplifier is rated at 500 watts a channel at 8 ohms and 750 at 4 ohms. Now that's a big amp. Um, will the amplifier send 500 or 750 for each speaker to share? Yeah, I know. This gets it, it gets it gets confusing, doesn't it? Um your amp is going to be sending 750, well, that's its mode. It's going to be increasing its power by 50% to, in, in, in response to any signal sent it, okay? Now, I guarantee you, whatever speakers you're hooking up, they ain't using 750 watts, so they'd probably go up and smoke. So let's not use that for a moment. Let's do it in terms of percentage. One 8 ohm speaker, given a certain volume level, is going to take X amount of power. Now, if all of a sudden that same speaker drops its impedance in half, the current is going to double. And so the watts will double. So if you were using 100 watts for an 8 ohm speaker and you, for a, for a given volume, and you put in a 4 ohm speaker, the amplifier is going to have to deliver twice the current or twice the watts into that same speaker to get the same level out. Okay, so twice the watts. Does that make sense? The speaker, I'm sorry, the amplifier doesn't have a freaking clue what your <laughs> speakers are. If you take two 8 ohms and put them in parallel, the amplifier doesn't know it. All it sees is 4 ohms. So it's going to put out more current, twice as much as if it were an 8 ohm. Where does that current go? Well, it doesn't go to each of the speakers because each of the speakers is 8 ohms. Those are 8 ohm speakers. It's going to be shared. It'll be split in half. Does that make sense? Each, the speakers don't know anything. <laughs> they can, you know, for a given amount of voltage, they're going to only draw so much current because they're 8 ohms. To the amplifier, it sees them together and thinks it's a 4 ohm load. It puts out twice as much, but that twice as much is now shared equally by each of the 8 ohm speakers. I hope that helps.